it's Jenny Zerlo here. I read your comments, so we're gonna pass on the meat today. Instead, I'm gonna be making a peppery arugula and baby spinach salad for you with a hot goat cheese topping that you're gonna love. So today we're gonna to be making a chevre chaud. And literally translated, that means hot goat or hot goat cheese salad. And it's a French dish where you bread goat cheese and serve it on crisp greens. So to get started, we're going to whip up the dressing. Now, when I first started learning about French cooking was when I was in culinary school. And of course, we learned to make some pretty complicated dishes. But when you live in France, and I studied in the north of France, I learned that a lot of French cooking is really simple, high quality, good ingredients, and really quite easy to put together. So for this dressing, I already added some high quality olive oil and I put in a little Dijon mustard. And Dijon is actually a region that's in the south of France. And Dijon mustard gives this dressing that extra tang. It also has some salt in it, so it's a great way to season up the dressing. Next, I added some sherry vinegar. And sherry vinegar actually comes from Spain, but you can use any kind of vinegar you like. I like sherry because it has a little hint of sweetness. So next I'm gonna add some salt, season this up, and some black pepper. And the thing to remember is when you're learning about French cuisine, especially when you're doing something that's this style, if it's bistro style or country style, is that French doesn't have to equal fussy. It can be fresh, fun, and totally easy. And you saw how fast this dressing came together. And the thing to keep in mind is that this is fresh, so it's gonna taste worlds above anything you get in a bottle. So for our salad base, I have a mix of two greens here. I have peppery baby arugula. This is also called rocket in the UK. And it has a wonderful sharp peppery flavor. And I also have baby spinach here, which is a lot more mild. Now these guys both happen to already be organic. And if you can find organic in your market, that's great. But if it's not in your budget, conventional is also a way that you can go. Or if you can find local, even better. But of course, that depends on the seasons. Now, this happens to be pre-washed already, which saves me a lot of time. But if you want to wash your greens on your own, or maybe you're shopping, uh, getting them from the grocery store and they're conventional greens, then you're going to want to make sure to submerge them in a lot of cold water, wrap them up in a paper towel, and tuck them inside a Ziploc lock bag. That's called crisping your greens. You'll keep it in the crisper for about three to five days. And it's just a super easy way to always have fresh, crisp, nicely washed lettuce that's on hand anytime you want to make a healthy meal. So next I'm going to bread up some goat cheese. Now when you're thinking about cheese, the first thing that comes to mind is, oh my gosh, what about the fat content? So for this recipe, I chose goat cheese. And fresh cheeses tend to be a lot lower in fat than something that's been aged because it takes less milk to manufacture them. So I'm just using a little bit of Japanese breadcrumb. You can really use any breadcrumb you like for this, but I like Japanese because it gives it that extra crunch. So I'm not using any egg, I'm just pressing the goat cheese into the breadcrumb. And while I'm doing this, I'm heating a medium skillet over medium heat. Now also another thing that you wanna keep in mind is when you're enjoying cheese is to keep the portion sizes small. This is about two ounces of cheese and it's around 200 calories. So if you keep the portion sizes small, the fat is also less and you keep the calories down. So now we're gonna crisp these up in a skillet. You wanna use just a little bit of olive oil. And you go easy on the olive oil, even though it's the good kind of fat, you wanna make sure that you're not using too much because fat does have calories. It's nine calories per gram. And we'll add our goat cheeses. You can hear a subtle sizzle. And you don't want to cook these too long because our cheese will melt inside. Now the thing I love about this salad is the base for it is spinach and arugula. Spinach is one of the superhero of the vegetable world. It's full of vitamin C, it's high in iron, it's high in fiber, plenty of good stuff. And I use baby spinach because it's more tender to the bite compared to a larger, more mature spinach. And I mix in arugula. So you see how fast these are to sear. They're ready to turn. So I'll just dress this salad. And you can always do the salad dressing ahead of time if you like. But when you make it yourself, you can really control the amount of fat that goes inside because salad dressing 
can be one of those hidden fat traps when it comes to so-called healthy meals. Just lower the heat a little bit. Now this is typically a dish that you would see on a French style bistro menu. It's elegant, simple, but still, even though it seems rather sophisticated to us, they don't really consider it haute cuisine. But I think it looks fabulous. Now if you like, you can always serve this with a crusty piece of baguette. Opt for whole wheat if you can. That's a great way to get added fiber. It's as simple as that, the salad is ready to go. So there you have it, a salad that's fresh, easy, and elegant. Mmm, the first thing that hits my palate is the sherry vinegar. It's tart, then the richness of the olive oil, and then that creamy goat cheese comes in. And the crunchiness of the greens is this wonderful base underneath. It's Jennifer Ezerlo for Healthy Cheats, and I'll see you next time. Bon appétit. I really like the comments, but I would love to get a video response, and if I use it, I'll send you a copy of my book.